Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Brown. I'm the Dean of Screen and Associate Professor of Games and Story at Falmouth University. Most of the projects that you'll see here at the Games Academy are teams of between eight and 11 students working together in so many different disciplines. I couldn't be prouder of the work that the students have put together. My name is Joshua DeBru and I do games development design. The game we're currently working on is named Project Bite and Smite and essentially it's a 2.5D fighting game inspired by tabletop mechanics and universe. My role in the game is originally going to be mainly playtesting lead, so going into stuff like make sure newer players can actually get a hold of the controls and make it accessible but still have that skill ceiling for like players to really get into to get that competitive spirit going. I'm B Fraser, I'm a third year games art student. We knew we wanted to go for something much more like stylistic rather than realistic, uh, just for more of that fun, kiddie element almost. I have been doing art throughout the project. I modelled the two female characters in our game. I'm Bradley Chadwick, third year game animator. So I kind of have a mix of roles where I'm the producer of the team, where I do a lot of the behind the scenes, like agile management, version control, and generally keep everyone on scope to make sure we get it done in time. I'm also one of the animators, so I'm in charge of like doing the animations, putting them in engine, kind of doing all up all the rigs, the weight painting, all that kind of stuff. Separately, I'm a part of the motion capture team, so just running the team and organizing all those sessions there. My name is Aaron Stead. As the lead programmer, I was tasked with communicating a lot between the disciplines. My skills have mainly developed not only in team communication and understanding my own discipline as a programmer, but also the other disciplines and understanding their pipeline and their workflow to make sure everything works well. And that was generally what my goal was throughout the project. By this point, we'll be at Games Expo. It'll be in the third year section and have a sofa and TV set up. So it should be pretty easy to spot. Expo has always been an idea in the back of our heads. It's a great chance to make the connections with the industry and also your fellow peers. And there's always a nice vibe. Yeah, a lot of alumni come down, a lot of industry people. Just It's quite casual. Just, just chat and talk about the game. You might be talking to someone from industry and you're not even aware they're from industry and they just have a lot of passion, just like all the students here do. This course has helped me a lot personally, but generally just my skills towards game development, social skills when it comes to like group management and teamwork. I think it provides a perfect opportunity that prepares you very well for industry. I feel like this course has very much helped me get to where I want to be. I really just enjoy making games and want to make them for other people to enjoy. I want to go into either character modeling or character designing, either in indie or a AAA studio, watching characters that I've drawn and then created suddenly come to life and be part of a game is the best thing for me. I really enjoy it and getting to meet all these other people that share the same mindset as me is really nice. The freedom we've been given to allow us to best make our own team that we feel like would work the most efficiently as well as just get the most amount done and have the most amount of fun. It's just a great experience.